Hey guys, Eastwood Prepper here. Today I'm going to be going over the new items that I put inside of this 72 hour survival box. And so whenever we come back, we'll jump right into it. So stick around, it'll be a good one. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Eastwood Prepper. And I just want to start off by saying I got a new hat from my buddy Skyler. It's a uh, hashtag FJB. If you don't know what that stands for, then you'll just have to look it up. It's not really channel appropriate to say out loud, but uh, just trying to help a, a friend out with his, his little business, side business he's got going on. I just recently got my, my wife's uh, windows tinted, and he did that. So he does like shirts and uh, hats and stuff on the side. So I figured I'd buy one of that. And plus, I like the color. All right, so this is the 72-hour survival box that I would use for like a um, bug-in situation, like if the power goes out or if there's like any type of civil unrest or uh, grid down situation. There's stuff in here that would definitely uh, make that, you know, 72 hours, potentially longer, uh, go a little bit more smooth. But uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up and I'll show you the new items that I added and if I can um, talk about like the, the things that I added and the things that I took away because I feel like I just wouldn't really need those in inside this box. So we're just going to go ahead and open it real quick and go over the, the few items that I did add. So just starting from the very top. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. But um, starting from the left to right, the things that I did add over here was just, just a little package of uh, candles. So I'm not burning through the lighter and uh, these waterproof matches. That way I can just light these candles and uh, conserve conserve that uh, those other items. I added a uh, Silcock key just in case the the water situation goes out i can head over to there's a couple of these uh, general stores that are around that i can use this on open up their little box and get the water that i need i have other little containers that i can haul that water with i just haven't added because inside this box is a little it's a little uh a little cramped but um you can check out every every other item that's inside of this box on the uh, previous video that I did post. So if you're wondering about what else is all, what else is all in this box, you just have to go back and watch that other video. But um, those are the only two items that I added on this side uh, since that video, and I added some of the 45 Long Colt Grizzly. It's a good brand. And then just some some BBs, and then some just some regular playing cards. I'll probably probably be adding some uh, like Uno cards or uh, maybe some type of like dice or something to uh, you know help boost morale for me, the wife, and kids. But I mean, if it's a bugging situation, we'll have other board games here. But in the situation, if we do have to leave the house, I would just take this box and grab the the bug out bags that i need i have one for me the wife and the three kids and grab whatever food and water supplies we need i definitely be grabbing this box as well as the firearms ammo and stuff that we need and then over here i just added this this is one of my favorite lights it's one of these uh utility lights that you can um use for basically anything i mean you don't need to use it on your vehicle but uh, you can because it has this little um, magnet right here. This is just a, like a little cheap one. There's more expensive ones like the Milwaukee brand. Uh, this is just a handy bright. But this is probably one of my favorite ones. It takes three AA batteries. And I have some extra AA batteries right here. But I just thought that this was kind of like a cool addition to it. I could just set it up like that if it's dark. Or I could just, you know station it wherever else that I need. So a really, really good, bright, heavy-duty flashlight. 
I think that's a good addition. Oh, I forgot to add. I did have money in here, but whenever I saw it, I kind of wanted to spend it. So I had to take it out. Okay, this is our second level of this box. I didn't add any add anything specific into into this section, so there's nothing to really talk about here. All right, this is one of the, the parts that I'm really, really excited about. So the ammo that I did add, that's a 45 long colt. And then I have some of these 410 shells, 410 uh, gauge. So with these, I thought that they'd be a little bit bigger. I've never shot the 410 before until I got this firearm. But it resembles a shotgun shell. But it's super super thin it reminds me of basically the size of like a battery maybe just a little bit longer so i think that was so cool but there's 25 of these inside this box and this ammo this is arm score this is arm score and this is one of the the cool additions that i made to this box i haven't fired this firearm yet but it's a judge it's a 45 caliber i'm sorry 45 long colt also 410 so it's dual so i think that is like the coolest thing that it shoots two different two different kinds two different types of ammo i know with a 357 and a shoot what is it uh damn what is it I've yet to fire this this judge yet, but I'm super super excited about it. Take a look at that. So pretty. Just makes you want to kiss it. Hey. Okay. Anyways, quit being weird. I just love firearms. They're so fun. And it'd be nice to have something like that, just in case that this is something that we do need to actually bug out with. Then something's literally already inside this box. So I don't need to, I mean, I would grab the other firearms that I do have. I just feel like I would want to have something inside this box. So that's why I added that. I can't believe that I just kissed that gun. That's a little weird. Wow. Dumbass. What a fucking idiot. I don't know. I've just been so excited to actually get this video out and talk about it. But um, that's the new stuff with this box. Um... Hopefully here soon, within the next couple weeks, I'll be able to get back into uh, stocking up on the food and supplies and stuff that I need, that I feel like our family would need. But uh, it's approaching winter season, so this box would definitely come in handy just in case the power goes out. And also, uh, winter's approaching, so be sure you're stocking up on uh, food, uh, the essentials, so food, water, uh, TP. Uh, any other types of supplies that you guys may need that you might be stuck inside your house and can't get out for a couple days. So you want to prepare for all that stuff. And then uh, the up and coming election. It's going to be crazy probably within the next, you know, six to seven months because all this stuff is going to be coming out. This isn't a political channel, but there is tons and tons of stuff going on that you should definitely keep your eyes on stuff in the middle east and also stuff inside our country going on with the second amendment and also them trying to change the the gun laws so pay attention to that and also prepare uh whenever you get a chance just a couple dollars here and there this wasn't expensive to make the most expensive thing inside this box is that judge and i just added that but everything else before that is probably no more than I'd say $20, $30, and that's for the more expensive items. But you can do this. There's Harbor Freight. They have containers like this and some that are much bigger, like, you know, Home Depot, Big R, stuff like that. But um, Christmas is upon us, so Merry Christmas. 
uh, Happy New Year. And don't forget the reason as to why it's Christmas. And also remember the fact that there's many uh, of our service members that didn't make it home that aren't able to enjoy this day or this coming holidays with their family because they made the ultimate sacrifice. So remember that honoring the veterans is very important and also remembering the fact of why Christmas is important. And that's the coming of Jesus. So uh, thank you guys. God bless. Be prepared. Stay prepared. Be safe.